Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the absolute best ultimate southern style cornbread dressing now listen here this the best recipe you gonna ever taste in your entire life and i mean that wholeheartedly all right so look if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and let's get into this super detailed recipe all right so the first thing that we want to do when we are making dressing is prepare our chicken stock so y'all i'm using a split chicken this is half of a whole chicken and two chicken thighs because that's what i had in my freezer and i'm gonna fill up this pot i'm using my dutch oven okay with water to cover that chicken it took me about six cups and now to build the base of the stock you want to add in one whole onion chopped as well as two chopped ribs of celery okay you can put them in there however you choose to i also have two whole carrots that i chopped up and you know like i said you can put them in there however you want to doesn't matter and i have one chopped bell pepper also roughly chopped and I'm also going to put in some thyme. Now, my thyme is a little crispy there because I didn't allow it to dry out a little bit. But that's okay. So, look, I'm adding in some garlic. If you have whole garlic cloves, that is a little bit more ideal and less messier. So, you might want to use that. But if not, you can use minced garlic. So, here, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. Or better than bouillon, rather. And I added in one tablespoon then. I'm going to add the other tablespoon later. You want to give that a good pinch of salt. Okay? And some paprika. And you also want to add in two tablespoons of butter. Now listen, if you get your stock right, honey, you will not have to add any other seasonings to your dressing when it comes to flavor. I'm telling y'all, listen to me now. Get your stock right and you'll never go wrong, okay? So that's the other tablespoon of chicken base that I'm adding in. And I'm just giving that a little quick mix just, you know, to get it off my spoon there. Don't double dip that. Put that in the sink and clean it off, all right? And you want to cover and boil this on medium high until that chicken is nice and tender, honey, like this. Look at that. Baby, if it ain't falling off the bone, it ain't ready okay and that's just the bottom line so you need that chicken to fall apart when you pick it up if it don't fall apart when you pick it up cook it a little bit longer okay so look now i'm going to take this chicken out of this broth because we need to strain all of this good stuff up out of there and if you want to save it you can but we want the broth so we got to strain this chicken and we got to shred it later so let's take the chicken out all right i'm taking out the thighs and be careful when you pick up that big old split chicken or if you're doing a whole chicken be careful now all right, take it, put it on a plate, set it aside, let it cool because we have to shred it. And then you want to strain your broth over a bowl and reserve all that goodness. Look at that. Y'all, you need that deep, rich, velvety, lovely, luscious broth. Look at that. Honey, it's like liquid gold. Ch what? Oh, girl, bottle it up and sell it take a bath in it honey i'm telling you it is delicious all right so look set that aside and now we're going to make our cornbread i'm actually going to use a very simple recipe and it's a recipe that's on the bag because listen here you need a simple recipe for cornbread when it comes to cornbread dressing just don't use jiffy mix all right i'm gonna talk about you if you use jiffy mix and i'm gonna call your mama don't use jiffy mix this is not no Jiffy Mix dressing. That's not how it works, all right? So we started off with two cups of cornmeal. And here in a separate bowl, I'm going to add in one egg plus one cup plus one third of a cup of milk into this bowl. Now I'm mixing all my wet ingredients separate because, you know, that's just how you're supposed to do it. Because if you mess it up, then you got to start over, right? So at least you got half of the, the battle already conquered. So you want to mix that up very well. And then we're going to take our mix back and we're going to pour this liquid over into our mix, y'all. We know how to make cornbread by now, I hope. And if you don't, honey, it's okay because I got you with the instructions. So look, you're just going to pour that in there and we're going to whisk this up really well after we put it in that one fourth cup of canola oil. Do not skip out. If you want to use vegetable oil, you can, all right? But you want to add in that oil and you want to combine this until it's nice and smooth. If it's not a smooth batter like this, you ain't do it right, all right? Trust me, it's not too liquidy. That is the consistency that you want. I don't care what you say. That's what you need, all right? 
So here I have a skillet. Don't talk about my ashy skillet. I got to season it. And um, I had some butter and some oil that I melted in there. Just a little bit. Just a tablespoon of each. And we're going to bake this cornbread at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. All right? Don't burn it, y'all. It's okay if it get a little burn, but don't burn it. And that's it. Look. There go our cornbread, y'all. Simple. Okay? And all you got to do now is just crumble it. Now, I'm using a fork because guess what? This cornbread is hot. I ain't had time to wait. First of all, I ate half of it, so that's the other problem. But you want to crumble your cornbread. If you want to do it with your hands, just make sure it cools down, all right? So, look, this recipe is moving along, y'all. It is time to mix our dressing. This is the best part, okay? So, look, you want to add in your crumbled cornbread mixture, okay? Get all that good stuff in there. I'm leaving that little piece in there because I'm going to eat it. That's my business, right? Like my girl Tab say, that's our business. And also, I'm going to add in my shredded chicken. This is the chicken that we boiled. Don't eat all of it like I did. If you're trying to figure out what happened to the rest of the chicken, it's because I ate it. I'm sorry. All right? So I'm adding in one bag of seasoning blend. Y'all, this stuff is a lifesaver. I didn't feel like, I, first of all, I couldn't even find red bell pepper in the stove. So, you know, I was like, oh, I could just get the frozen bag. And that's what I did. That bag has peppers, onions, and celery. You just need one bag, okay? And also, we're going to add in the cornbread dressing staple, which is one can of cream of chicken, okay? And this is not quite a staple, but this is my staple. One can of cream of onion. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, y'all. Okay, a lot of people do cream of celery. I don't like celery, so I don't put it in my dressing. I put a little bit in there from the pig sweet bag, and that's it. However, add you in a cream of onion, game changer. I'm telling you, trust me, please. Just, just, just trust me, all right. But if you don't want to trust me, add in your cream of celery. I'm just we ain't gonna talk about you, all right. Now, look, you don't want to mess up the consistency of your cornbread, you want to add in about two cups of your chicken stock. Okay, if you do this recipe to the T, you will not mess it up, y'all. I promise. So, look, I'm adding in that chicken stock a little bit at a time. Eventually, I'm going to add in the two cups, but you want to add it in a little bit at a time. Only incorporate just enough, okay? And to that, we're going to add in some butter, okay? Just add in just unsalted butter to this mixture, just about two to three tablespoons of it. And you want to add that broth in. You want to keep adding it until you get that consistency that you need y'all i'm telling you when i was cooking with my folks we if you mess this part up it's honey you might as well just throw it away okay so look add in those last two cups once you get that consistency and this is what you want it looks like mush okay but let me tell you something if you can't eat it right here just like this it ain't good okay so don't mess it up and here i'm adding in a half a teaspoon of ground sage I know a lot of people use poultry seasoning. I don't use poultry seasoning. I use just a little bit of sage because I don't want all that rosemary and carrying on in my in my dressing. No, ma'am. All right. So I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of white pepper. Definitely a different taste from black pepper. So you definitely want to add that in there. Okay. Just one teaspoon. And this is the consistency that you want. Okay. Now, listen, like I said, if it don't taste good, you didn't do something right. And don't you come blaming me because this dressing is smacking. Okay. So, look, that's just that. That's the disclaimer. So look, we're going to go ahead and bake this dressing. I'm using a 10-inch cast iron skillet, and I'm just going to butter this skillet down. My hands are clean. Make sure yours are too. And we're going to butter this down. If you don't want to use butter, you can use canola or any type of nonstick spray. And you want to add your mixture to the skillet just like that. I mean, that you can't mess it up okay and if you're using an aluminum pan that is also fine you won't get those crispy edges but hey you will still get a delicious taste in dressing and that's a fat jack all right and we want to bake this at 375 degrees fahrenheit for about 45 minutes to an hour but listen here make sure you check your dressing okay and look at that honey honey look oh god stop playing all right so look we're gonna make this gravy right quick this part is optional, but listen, who going to eat dressing without gravy and cranberry sauce? Not me, all right? So, look, we're going to add in four tablespoons of butter. That actually was just one tablespoon. I added more after. And we're also going to add in four tablespoons of flour to go along with that butter. So, equal parts flour, equal parts butter. And we're doing this over medium-low heat. You do not want to burn this, okay? 
And the remainder of that chicken stock, you're going to use it to make your gravy. So all you're going to do is add in that stock a little bit at a time until all of that flour is dissolved. And you should get a nice, rich, smooth, velvety gravy just like this. All right. And you want to add in a little bit of pepper, just about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, just to give that some good flavor. And that's it, honey. That's it. Can you believe that went by that fast? So look, let's plate this on up. And there we have it, guys. Our delicious, creamy, <laughs> flavorful dressing, honey. Let me tell you something. If this your first time making dressing, honey, tell everybody to step on out the way. Because this right here is a game changer. I'm telling y'all. Trust me. All right? So, look, I want to thank you guys for watching, as always. Thank you for supporting my channel. And if you try this recipe out, let me know down in the comment section. And if you watch this and this Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, honey. All right? And also, don't forget to check out my turkey wing video. All right? And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye!